Hi, this is Nicolette out at Hidden Villa. One of the great part of my, greatest parts of my job is to take care of our garden. Uh, I need to have a lot of help though because I can't just do it by myself. It's a pretty big place. And actually a lot has to change in the environment or in the, in the garden itself so that we get what we need to grow the plants for food. So what I have here is a demonstration. It's actually an equation. Right? It's a very simple equation. Don't worry, it's not division or multiplication. It's simple addition. This plus this plus this plus this equals the result. This equation represents a transfer of energy. So let me ask you this. What do you think I mean when I say transfer of energy? Okay, I'm sure you had some great ideas about what you think is the definition of a transfer of energy. So here I'm going to show you how, what I've come up with. So we start with the first part of this transfer, and that's going to be kitchen scraps. Things we use in our daily lives, and sometimes we have some leftover parts. So banana peel, apple peel, uh, old plants from the garden. These are all things that are left over that we don't need. In fact, we don't even want it around anymore. A lot of people think of this as garbage, but actually it has a lot of energy still left in these, what we would call leftovers or scraps, okay? So we're going to take the energy from our kitchen scraps and our garden leftovers and we're going to combine that with the next part which is animal poop. Maybe you have heard this called manure and that's what we call it on the farm. This manure is from a cow. Cows make 50 pounds of manure a day and then you have to include the sheep and the goats and the pigs and the chickens all making manure in the, gar in, uh, the farm. So I, you know, if you look at this, you might say this is definitely garbage. This is definitely something we want to be away from. It smells, but guess what? There's a lot of energy in this manure. And in fact, the next part of our equation is, would be very excited to hang out with some manure because it's their favorite. All right, so we're gonna take the kitchen scraps. We're gonna take the manure and we're going to add the most important, maybe even a magical ingredient here. We're going to add worms. So they're hiding in here. They don't really like to be out above the ground, but I'm going to show you a bunch of them all wriggling together, working on this gooey leftover, turning it back into dirt. So we have the kitchen scraps, we have the manure, and we have the secret ingredient, the worms. And guess what? There's more than just worms in the pile that we make with the other two. We have a bunch of decomposers. These are animals that are specially adapted to turn the things we can't use into something we need every day. What is that something? Right over here. That something is dirt, right? So you know that plants need dirt to survive. Look at this beautiful dirt. It uh, is pretty much the only thing we put in the garden to, to um, add energy and nutrition back into the soil and it grows some terrific plants, believe me. So one way that we mix all these ingredients together is by something called a worm bin. So that's what this is. Now you can see all kinds of leftovers. So we have the worms and they're actually eating that gooey, mushy pumpkin. They actually only have, they don't have any teeth, they just have like a straw for a mouth and then they kind of suck in all that juice and when they poop they make new dirt. So can you see how they're transferring the energy from something we can't use to something we need every day? So here's where it gets really interesting. Not only do we have a transfer of energy from the things that we can't use or don't want into something we need every day, the soil, but this is, soil is so good, we can grow some delicious food in it. And what we do is, let's say you plant a carrot. And you pull out that carrot, you eat the root part, right? But what's left? The leaves, the stems, we don't eat that. So what we're going to do is take that leftover and put it back here into this pile of kitchen scraps. And that goes back through that, that uh, routine again. And so it's a cycle, right? What we get from the dirt goes into this pile, and then that is added to the manure, fed to the worms, and the worms give us more new dirt. It's pretty exciting, pretty amazing. One of my favorite stories about the garden. Well, this is Nicolette at Hidden Villa, 
and I hope to see you on the farm.